What's up? I just want to say a big thank you first and foremost to the people who have viewed and shared and liked the previous video that featured Drake Hannon and Minister Dara O'Brien. That video has now amassed 22,000 views. That's phenomenal numbers. Now I have to say this, I was notified at 12,000 views that the video had been limited which means that they didn't want the video to be pushed anymore which means that they tried to take it away analytically they tried to suppress the video in other words but that suppression didn't work you kept sharing it and that's what i'm going to ask you to do with this video also and any other future videos that are out there i appreciate everybody pushing like i appreciate everybody that decides to share the video because that's how we break through what we are seeing right now which is the chains of suppression we are seeing an increasing call for suppression and censorship by members of the government and members of the media now we all know that those people work hand in hand and we just have to look at this image alone to know what is going on in our country and clearly there's enough people out there that feel angry about what's going on in this country because you liked and shared the last video so i just want to say thank you for that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this video that has popped up and this guy just keeps opening his mouth and I think that's fantastic. The more times this guy opens his mouth, the better it is for us, the more easy it is for us to convince people that the individuals that these government people have let into this country are undesirables and people that should not be here. Let's take a look. Every migrant out there is supposed to carry a weapon, supposed to carry something to defend themselves. Don't. Don't listen to these people, they don't know what life is, they don't know, they don't even know who they are. You know, they don't even know how to protect their own fucking country. You know what I mean? The cheek of these people. The cheek of the authorities in this country. The cheek of them. Don't make sure they don't take nothing from you. You know, if you're, if you're going out with your friend, make sure you strap up. Yeah, don't be afraid to strap up. Suffice to say that we're working through options uh, that I am discussing and will continue to discuss with government colleagues. I'm acutely aware of the, the pressures that tenants and indeed some individuals. Well, what do you think of that video, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. You did a fantastic job the last time. Let me know how you felt. And if that video made you feel any sort of emotion, make sure you hit the like button because that also helps. So... Drake Cannon fancies himself as some sort of artist, a rapper as such. So, as you can see, I spat a little bar up above, and I'm going to add to it here. I'm going to throw some shade, like on Wesley Snipes' blade. You're just a squawker, but you can call me the daywalker. Well guys, how did that video make you feel? If you felt any sort of emotion, like the last time, I'm going to ask you to do it again. Make sure you hit the like button. Also, whatever emotion you may have felt, throw it in the comments down below. Not only that though, but just to let you know that this platform is engaging in taking away your comments. So do be aware of that. That is not me. This platform also isn't a fan of when these types of videos get out. So do push the video as much as possible. I humbly appreciate that. I'm a big fan of Wesley Snipes' Blade, as I said in the previous video. And again, when it comes to Blade, I think you can link that sort of character into this situation because we are the Daywalkers. This is our country. And when we shine lights, UV lights, on these bloodsuckers, these parasites, it becomes very evident and very clear that they do not like that whatsoever. And others don't like that. And what I mean by that is this. You've got people out there that think that this guy shouldn't be highlighted. No, no, no humbly disagree with you because this guy is but one of what will be many this guy has this rhetoric already he has been given things in this country he has been given a cushy soft life a softer life than what he would have from wherever he came from because if that was the case he would still be sitting there instead of in our beautiful country that's what would be happening but now he's here and he's here on your dime He's here on your cent, on your euro, whatever way you want to phrase that. You're paying for this guy to stay here. And he's not the only one that you're paying for. You're paying for many more. And many more that share this worldview, that share this aggression towards you. 
that share this disrespect towards you that share this ideology of hey let's do what we want and let's take what we want and not only that but let's arm ourselves this is the type of stuff that you're hearing this is just one guy and he's publicly doing it can you imagine what they're doing behind closed doors and in their own groups because these things are happening they're happening worldwide you'd be a fool not to think that so what we have right now is a huge problem and i just want to impart this knowledge onto you also you might get rid of this guy and deport him that's one person but the government are just going to import 10 more that are like him or even worse and that's what they're currently doing so you've got this guy that's a pure parasite and that's going to infect other people and you have to understand with these people and with these ideologies it's like treating the symptoms of a disease if you let the disease go untreated it's going to spread and this guy is clever enough and i say that because he is clever enough to use the word migrant he's not just honing in on the black community because that's only a percentage as well and listen they are emotional and they will get emotional when it comes to these things that's why you're seeing a psyop in the media trying to gaslight you into accepting what's your woman's name ratatat is it something like a pokemon razada akale or whatever it is like that trying to tell you that two nigerians that come to ireland and have a child here is as irish as you are with generations buried beneath this soil it's a laugh and a half like this is what we have right now we have a media that dislikes you and intensely dislikes you at that and then you've got these people that are poking the finger in the eye of yourself and telling you yeah you have to just accept this and not only that but you're gonna pay for it and you're gonna pay for the rest of them too because believe you me you are paying for this guy's stay here you are paying for all the luxuries that he has the roof over his head any sort of niceties that he has any sort of amenities that he has and facilities and the rest of them too and what are you met with you are met with aggression you are met with being called a racist it's absurd stuff this guy thinks a racist is anybody that disagrees with him and so do many of the people that are on the left you disagree with that you're racist yeah i do disagree with it and i'm going to continue disagreeing with it up yours oh they don't know what to do then because you're like couldn't care less what you think this is what it's all about so what are the options that we have here and these are the types of options that should be happening right now if we had a functioning government and a functioning media and a functioning police force they would be deporting this fella tomorrow now i'm going to tell you this if that was me calling for similar types of actions here in this country amongst native irish people what do you think would happen to me there would be a knock on my door tomorrow morning by glowies by people in uniform more than happy to do the job of trying to screech me out of my gaff for saying those types of things correct absolutely because we only saw it this week where they were more than happy to rock up to the house of a secondary school teacher that disagrees with transgenderism and is looking to be reinstated in his job which should absolutely happen and he's not being reinstated and instead he's going out to the place of work that he once had now i don't know about you i don't know the ins and outs of the case i don't know whether that's a legal reason that he's going back there because when it goes to a higher court who knows i do think that the accusations from his mother about the judge having worked with Tusler are highly interesting though and not only that but you're looking at that this image here right here in front of you and you're looking at the connections between these people are you telling me that the government can't find this dry cannon fella tomorrow in the department tomorrow that's a joke they absolutely can but going back on ourselves you have had people that are on our sphere and on our side that have had knocks on the door that have had been summoned to court that have had been dragged out have been put into jail cells our people our native people philip dwyer only recently arrested for filming in kula this guy on the other hand is telling people to do what he is telling them to do and not a knock on the door like that's absurd to think that isn't it and that's not the only case of that happening there's going to be more this fella is going to infect more people and more people are going to come in with this rhetoric and are going to spout this sort of stuff off so what needs to be happening is this you need this country to be stripping these people of their amenities their facilities their welfare their whatever it might be it goes tomorrow don't think that can happen it absolutely can this government can overnight decide it's going to hike the price of fuel on you it can overnight decide it's going to do stupid things that make no sense that make your quality of life worse 
This government can absolutely ignore people coming illegally into this country. This government can absolutely make glowy stand around buses and force them into your community full of migrant fellas. Illegal or legal, whatever it might be, matters not. Because at this stage of the game, we have an invasion going on in this country and a secondary plantation. We talked about this before when the British did it. And of course now people want to keep talking about the British Empire instead of looking at what's going on right now. This is what you're having in your future. You're having people like this with a rhetoric like this. The more people that arrive, the more people like this are going to gain notoriety and the more that's going to be out there. And what does that mean? It means the streets aren't safe anymore. It means that you're having to look over your shoulder. You're having to look over the shoulder of a loved one. You're having to check in about them. You're having to worry about them. Do you know what I'm saying? These days of, and I remember them when I grew up, like my man and dad didn't worry too much about me going out. Of course they worried from a parental point of view and as you would, but he didn't worry about the things that other people are having to worry about right now. Modern parents right now, I'm sure, are terrified. They're looking at the stuff that's going on around this country. They're looking at the stuff that's going on in the world and saying to themselves, this is just going to be imported here. And what about if it's my child or my niece or my nephew or my brother or sister, mother or father or auntie or uncle or granny or granddad? That's on the receiving end of this. The government don't care. They're not going to care. So this is why you've seen situations occur. Like what happened with Chico Makanda. Remember him? If you don't know about him, have a look into him. I think I did a video on him not too long ago. It still should be available. But this was a guy that was up to no good here in this country. Was told to self-deport. Didn't do so. And was hanging around areas. Well... The locals ended up sharing videos and pictures of this guy. Chico Watch was going on. And the locals dutifully ran him out of the areas. I don't think he's in the country anymore. That's the cause and effect. Now I'm not endorsing that happening. But a lot of people aren't disapproving of that happening either. So this is where we're at right now as a country. We have a police force that seems to be completely disinterested in going and arresting and looking after situations like this but have no qualms or harassing people that are pointing this sort of stuff out it's absurd stuff isn't it like we're putting up with way too much here i think we're putting up with a government that is out of control a regime that is out of control that is showing you in front of your face that they can squander money hand over fist on people like this guy and this is the type of tanks you get <laughs> Like, you have to laugh at that sometimes because here's the thing if you didn't laugh you drive yourself mental but on a very serious note this is the type of way we're looking down the road in this country and the days of just looking past this and pretending this isn't going to happen to you are over this guy and this rhetoric and mentality are just going to multiply and it's going to be felt and it's going to reverberate throughout society and that's exactly what the government want they want you to be fighting amongst each other what was it, Jeff Goldblum there in the new movie Wicked? I'm bringing that in here. He said, if you want to bring folks together, just give them a good old adversary. And that's exactly what's going on right now. The government are giving people adversaries, whereas we should be standing together as one people and saying, no, get these people out. These people got to go. Depart. That, to me, is the way things should happen. With a nationalist government, I do firmly believe that is what will happen and I look forward to the day that that is going to occur. But easy measures can be taken very quickly. Dole, gone. Any sort of benefits, welfare, whatever it might be. Facilities, gone. You're out in your ear. Good luck to you. That's how it should be. And it's as easy as that. Poland are putting fellas, soldiers on the borders. And are saying, anybody comes over those lions, Gonskis. That's it. No joke. Hungary are in the same sort of boat. You know what I mean? That's what a country does. We're in a banana republic here. We don't have a country anymore. A, a place without a border isn't a country. And that's what we are right now. And you've got a two-tier system, probably even a three-tier system. When is the last time you've ever seen a politician be held accountable for what they've done? Leo Varadkar was under criminal investigation. It went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And then you've got this here. Where's that going to go? So what people can do is, 
and I humbly suggest that this should happen. If you're in Mid-East, Helen McEntee has been picked yet again to run as the Minister for Justice and again in her area to, for re-election. Run against her in her area. Take that seat, position, whatever it might be, offer in the election and run and take it. And then take the position of Justice Minister and then have an effect and get rid of people like this guy. Depart them. Gone. That's the way to do it. I fully believe that.